a real cheap, shitty chair so that I can actually get some work done. Seat. Wheels. Seat mount. Wheel mount. Backrest. We have love handles. Nuts and bolts. Silica gel. That's it. <sighs> right, we're in a hurry. Jesus Christ, these are the worst wheels in the history of mankind. Oh I have to use Forced to turn that. Oh, that's that's that, that's dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. On they go. What can you expect for 155 euros? Bloody hell, that, that's horrid, oh, what have I purchased, that, oh, it feels like it's 20 years old already, oh, fucking hell. There is no mounting mechanism for the cylinder, it just friction fits in there, so. If you try and lift this chair by the top part of the ass, it's going to fall off. Oh, that's falling apart. There we go. By the way, you got no instructions for any of this. Nothing at all. I can't imagine how a normal person's going to manage this. So there are four small screws. These go for the ass mount. Then they are two different lengths of fat screws and four washers and I'm thinking uh, the short ones probably go to these the long ones probably go to a backrest because these are really far recessed uh, and this thing mounts on top of where you actually make the backrest so you can't fit the backrest underneath there so you have to mount it on top of this so it's going to require some stupid long screws and it's not going to fit very nicely at all but uh, there really is no other option for mounting it unless you want to like sandwich it between there but that's going to leave a giant gap nope and here's the only way this could possibly go together you have to stack the washers underneath here in order to make this plate go above this one because uh, that's the only way these uh, devices can possibly intersect uh, without horribly bending this head of shape. That, I don't know, next time I'm going to IKEA. And there we go. Man, is this thing a piece of shit. Jesus. I thought my old chair was cheap. Turns out paying one quarter of it as much does not land you better quality. Well, at least this giant box has now turned into something I can actually put shit in, like my ass. Cheerio.